वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ द टेलर सीरीज एंड मैक्लोरियन सीरीज सो द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल दैट आई एम कंसीडरिंग लेट अस एक्सपांड दिस फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई इक्वल टू ई पावर एक्स लॉग वन प्लस वाई इन पावर्स ऑफ और इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई The question is expand f in powers of x and y. So the question is the expand this f this function in powers of x and y. It is in powers of x and y. That means we need to calculate the Maclaurin series for this function. Those who have not seen the video on the Maclaurin series and the Rayleigh series for functions of two variable, the link for that. Video is given into the i button. You can go and visit there and just see that, and then come to this uh, problem. That will be easier for you to understand. The, so the Maclaurin series in powers of x y we can write down as this one. F of x y is equal to f of zero zero plus x into f x at zero zero plus y into f y at zero zero plus X square into f x x at zero zero. One upon two factorial is already there. Plus two x y f x y at point zero zero plus y square at f y y at point zero zero plus one upon three factorial x cube f x x x at point zero zero plus three x square y f x x y at point zero zero plus three x y square f x y y at point zero zero plus y cube f y y at point zero zero and so on. So here the question is to convert your function into the or expand this function in the power of x y up to three degree term. Then we need to calculate all this expression. Let us calculate all these values which are here. That is f zero zero. What is f x at zero zero? F y at zero zero. And the second order. Partial derivatives at the point zero and the third order partial derivatives at the point zero. We we'll calculate that and let us see what we get. So here the function f of x y is e power x into log of one plus y is there. So f of zero zero we have it is one it is zero f x at zero zero so f x will have it is e power x. Log one plus x because the derivative of e power x is same, and f x at zero zero we have it is again zero. Now f y at the point x y we have e power x upon one plus y. That is f y at zero zero we have it is one. F x x will not be changed. It will be the same e power x log one plus y. Then it is f x x at point zero zero will be zero. F x y at x y will be e power x. The derivative of log one plus x is one upon one plus y. So that's why it happens. f x y at zero zero will be one. F y y at point x y. Is the derivative of this quantity with respect to y? So that is e power x minus one upon one plus y square. That is f y y at point zero zero is minus one. Now these are the second order. We need to calculate the third order also. The so third order derivative we need to calculate. That is f x x triple x at point x y. So we need to differentiate. We need to differentiate this with respect to x again. F double x at the point x y. As you know that f double x x is that the second partial derivative is this triple x 
will not having any change that is e power x log 1 plus y is there and f triple x f point x y will give you 0 f x x y that is the derivative of x x with respect to y that means this with respect to y will give you e power x upon 1 plus y so that's why it is f x x y at point zero zero will give you one f x y y at point x y will give you e power x upon one plus y because the, the derivative of x y with respect to y that is the derivative of this quantity we can say it is e power x into 1 plus y raised to minus 2 and minus so that's why it is x y y at point 0 0 will be used to minus 1 f triple y at point x y so it is already double derivative we have calculated here now triple derivative will give you minus 2 that is minus minus plus e power x 1 plus y raised to minus 3 that's why it is f triple y at point 0 0 will give you plus 2 and if I substitute all these values into this Maclaurian series that we have here written that is the first term is f of x y and the next term is f of 0 0 so that's why it is f of x y f of 0 0 we have calculated it is 0 so that's why f of 0 0 is 0 plus x into f x at 0 so let us write down again so that's why it is easy to substitute the value 1 upon 2 factorial f x x at point 0 0 plus 2 x y f x y at point 0 0 plus y square f y y at point 0 0 plus 1 upon 3 factorial x cube f x x x at point 0 0 plus x square y 3 times f x x y at 0 0 plus 3 x y square x y y at point 0 0 plus y cube f y y at point zero zero and so on. The first value is zero that we already have x f x at zero zero we have calculated zero y f y at zero zero we have calculated one plus one upon two factorial f x x we have calculated zero so it is x square into zero plus two x y fxy is 1 and y square into minus 1 plus 1 upon 3 factorial x cube that is f triple x of triple x is 0 f x x y is 1 this is minus 1 this is 2 so we have to use that value here so it is x cube into 0 plus 3 x square y will be 1 plus 3 x y square will be minus 1 plus y cube into 2 we will get and plus so on so finally we have the answer is e power x into log 1 plus y can be expressed as y plus x y minus 1 by 2 x y square plus 1 by 2 x square y minus x y square plus 1 by 3 y cube and plus so on. So that is completed the proof of the uh, solution of the first problem. Let us solve the second problem. The second problem is expand x square y plus 3 y minus 2 in powers of x minus 1 and y plus 2 using 
Taylor series or Taylor's theorem. So the first one users know that here the value of a is 1 and b will be minus 1. And let us recall what will be the Taylor series expansion we have. The Taylor series expansion is f of xy equal to f of ab in powers of x minus a x minus y minus b that is the equation. So it is f of ab in plus x minus a f x at point ab plus y minus b f y at point ab plus 1 by 2 factorial x minus a square f x x at point ab plus 2 into x minus a y minus b f x y at point ab plus y minus b square f y y at point ab plus 1 by 3 factorial x minus a cube f x x x at point ab plus 3 into x minus a square y minus b f x x y at point ab plus 3 into x minus a y minus b square f x y y at point ab plus x minus sorry, y minus b cube f triple y at point ab and plus so on. This is the Taylor series for this function f of x y in powers of x minus a and y minus. So here I have to calculate all this parcel order derivatives up to or order. So for that, for that here the function f of x y is given x square y minus plus 3 y minus 2. And I already mentioned what is the point a b. a is 1 and b will be minus 2. So let us calculate what is the first value of f of a b that is 1 comma minus 2 that is you can calculate it as minus 10 fx you can have 2xy that by taking the partial derivative we can have already seen that is fx at minus 1 2 will be 2 into minus 2 which will be minus 4 fy you will have it is x square plus 3 square plus 3 that is at point 1 minus 2 will give you 4 f x x that is 2y and f x x at point 1 comma minus 2 will give you minus 4 f x y f x y is 2x so that is f x y at point 1 minus 2 will give you 2 f y y which is 0 so that's why f y y at point 1 minus 2 is 0 f x x x that is the derivative of this with respect to x which is 0 so f x x 1 minus 2 is 0 f x x y will be 2 so that is f x x y at point 1 minus 2 is 2 f y y x f y y x that is the derivative of this with respect to x which is 0 so f y y at x is 1 at the point 1 minus 2 is 0 and the last one is f y y triple y uh, f triple y that is the derivative of this again so that is also 0 so f triple y is also you have a zero and now we will substitute this all these values into the this expression so let us see what we have f of a b we have calculated that is minus 10 so that's why it is minus 10 plus x minus a fx at point a b that is minus 4 a is 1 so that's why I just write down x minus 1 plus y plus 2 into fy fy is 4 at point this 
plus 1 by 2 factorial fxx that is x minus 1 square into fxx which is minus 4 plus x minus 1 y plus 2 into 2 times that is fxy which is also 2 plus y plus 2 square into fyy fyy is 0 plus 1 by 3 factorial x minus 1 cube into 0 plus 3x minus 1 square y minus y plus 2 into 2 plus 3x minus 1 into y plus 2 square into 0 and the last term is already 0 because y triple dash y triple times we have calculated it is we have calculated y triple dash or y f at 3 times derivative of with respect to y is 0 f triple y at point 1 minus 2 is 0 so that's why we will have this as an expression and if you simplify this one that will give you x square y plus 3y minus 2 minus 10 minus 4x minus 1 plus 4 times y plus 2 minus 2x minus 1 square plus 1y plus 2 plus x minus 1 square into y plus 2 is your final answer and the all other higher order derivatives terms are zero. So this is the things we got. Let us solve the next example. Expand f of x y ten inverse of y by x in powers of x minus one and y minus one of two or degree term. That is, I am giving you as a homework. You can try yourself and try to find out what is the Taylor series for this function by yourself. Also, you can approximate this value f of 1.1 and 0.9 that means whatever the answer you got like this you have to substitute your x is this 1.1 and y will be there that will use you approximate answer for this function that is approximation so probably you know that that is Taylor series and Maclaurin series are used to approximating the function so that is the objective of finding the Taylor series in approximation.